Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute where we're throwing likes and getting strikes back again. Two videos, one night, I know. What am I on? Crazy stuff here, guys. Uh, but tonight, uh, a couple things came to light. Uh, actually, I should say this came to light after On Deck. I just haven't had the opportunity. Been busy working on the On Deck video and other things. So here it is. Uh, basically, here's how it came out. Uh, Mark Antanasio in a Q&A at On Deck uh, made the comment that you need to trust the process. Uh, basically, the question was put to him about the Brewers' lack of big moves this offseason. He said, trust the process. Um, as you know, they are often candid. Mark Antanasio furthered that comment by saying, hey, look, we don't want to mortgage our team for the future. We don't want to do things. Now, he didn't specifically say the Chicago Cubs, but he said we don't want to put ourselves in that position where we can't make moves in the future, i.e. trusting the process of what we are doing right now. With that being said, you know, the Cubs have made two moves all offseason. Both of them former Brewers. Very interesting. Boston's been in position, that same position. They haven't really signed anybody big. They haven't been in anybody big. I'm not saying we're ever going to be in on anybody big. If, you, if you're expecting that out of the Milwaukee Brewers, I think you're looking at the wrong organization. Yes, we've had big players in the past. CC Granky, but those were acquired in trades and they were very short term. We have never had a huge MLB star on the team. Now, with that being said, my defense to trusting the process would be the years. Uh, Mark Antanasio took over this team in 2005 ownership. Uh, since 2005, we had have had four playoff appearances, uh, two of which under Doug Melvin, and the move, some of those moves that I had just mentioned, the CC and the Granke, were a part of those as well. Um, but in 13 years of Doug Melvin, we saw two postseason appearances. In Four years, four years of David Stearns, we've had two postseason appearances, almost three. Uh, we fell just short. So, is Mark Antanasio's program working? I think so. I mean, if you guys think that we're going to go out there and acquire every big name guy and we should have been in on Randon and, and, Strasburg and no Garrett Cole that's never gonna happen this is Milwaukee guys let's get real I mean yeah it's fun to think about it's fun to fantasize that we could get a Nolan Arenado or a Bryce Harper or someone but it's never never gonna happen I mean in my lifetime the Brewers have been a losing team not until my later years I was almost in my 30s before the Brewers started really winning. I'm born in 1985, so I'm not of the 82 Brewers era when they were the good back then. I watched the bad Brewers in the 90s. Uh, our first winning season was after Mark Antanasio took over ownership from Bud Selig. Then we proceeded to have 2008, 2011, 2018 and 2019 all under the ownership of you know mark antanasio so i think you know i think brew pack put it out on twitter um or put it out in a video and then he copied the twitter link uh the things that happened jj was hurt lost Corey knabel for the entire season um y'all just got hurt in the playoff race Brandon Woodruff missed a couple weeks last season. Those are all big pieces. Our our prior ace, Yoli Chassin, 
was the ace in the 18th season, lost it. You know, so there was a lot of bad facts that contributed to just getting to the wild card last year. Uh, we have made adjustments. We've we've replaced Travis Shaw had a bad season. Uh, we replaced him. Um, there's there's quite a few things that happened. So it's not time to jump off a bridge. I, I think if you're reacting this badly, maybe you're a new fan. Maybe you haven't been through the years of misery that a lot of us have. I mean, God, the 90s, you know, winning 70 games, 2002, 56, those were bad years. I mean, we had some good players back then, you know, that's, that's right in that era, and that 2005 was kind of the cusp of when all those guys were playing together, you know, the J.J. Hardy, Ben Sheets, we had, uh, I was going to say Cecil Fielder, Prince Fielder, Ricky Weeks, you know, Braun was brand new in 20, 2007, I was going to say 2017. But, you know, so we've come a ways and we've grown and we've had to go through development and now young players and things like that. That happens. That's part of this game. But if you're going to be mad that we had to make adjustments and cut payroll and make moves? I don't know what to tell you. This is this is baseball. And we are a small market club. Like I said, we're not affording Bryce Harper's contract. We're not affording. It's fun to fantasize. Yeah, I fantasized about it last year, but it ain't going to happen. They're not going to spend this money. They're going to convince us that they're poor, and that's the way it's going to be. So... To say that they've done nothing, I'd say that's completely false. I believe in what the Brewers have made adjustments to this season. We went out and got additional players, lots of infielders. You know, a new shortstop who's now injured. Watch the previous video. Um, pitchers, we've got a good core of young pitchers. I, I think we've made some moves. We acquired the MVP from the Korean League. There is a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff out there. And it's still good. Um, you know, we're always going to have our reclamation projects. I.e. the Shelby Miller signing. Um, and some of these guys we signed on minor league deals. They're just that. Logan Morrison's another good example of that. The reclamation projects. Wade Miley was a successful reclamation project. For every, I'd say for every five reclamation projects you have, one of them works out, i.e. Wade Miley. <laughs> but those are factors. There's 162 games played a season. We play 162 every year and you know, I'm okay with it in the 80s and 90s, as we have been. I mean, if we can if we can keep this pace for a second, what what is David Stearns and Mark Antonazio doing wrong? To play competitive baseball and to be in the hunt in the division every year, and to get a World Series eventually. It's not going to be an automatic. It's not going to happen. We can't build in New York. We can't build in LA. LA has played in the World Series. Now, mind you, cheating scandals, but they've played in it. And it's not an automatic. You don't automatically. So you get to the World Series, you get a win. You know, we celebrate 82. We got there, but we didn't win it. So... I'm excited to see what happens this 2020 season. I'm going to have a prediction video coming out. I think we got to trust Mark Antonazio, David Stearns. I know it seems crazy. They get rid of our favorites. They hurt our feelings, guys. But at the end of the day, the Brewers are still the team I love and will always love. So thanks, to, thanks for watching tonight, guys. You have a great night. Watch the next video. I'm going to be on Scott Larson, hashtag truth. I think he's calling it brew talk. He advertised it in the Miller Park Minute group. 
If you're not in that on Facebook, go check it out, guys. Like, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, and you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers!